All about artificial intelligence these days. Last week, it was Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg publicly feuding over whether or not AI presents a threat to humanity. Well, now we're learning Facebook's chatbots named Bob and Alice have created their own language. Now, Bob and Alice <laughs> apparently ignored instructions, went off script, and were promptly shut down. It's a kind of headline that's making people think about science fiction plots. So the question, should the inventors of Bob and Alice make us worry about the future? Well, KPX 5's Wilson Walker shows us some more practical AI concerns are already here. Me to me to me. Bob, you I everything else. As a computer scientist and science fiction writer, Rudy Rucker has spent plenty of time thinking about artificial intelligence. His take on those Facebook chatbots that developed their own language. Me to me to me to me to me. I, I, I hear this and I'm not too worried. You know? But he also understands why this might freak you out a little bit. It makes people uneasy when you see machines evolving and learning. Skynet begins to learn at a geometric rate. It becomes self-aware at 2.14 a.m. Eastern Time, August 29th. We'll use Terminator Skynet as the doomsday vision of what's known as strong AI. Computers so smart they blow past humanity and no longer need or want us around. Strong AI, I think, is going to be a lot farther off. Futurist Paul Sappho isn't so worried about Skynet. He says far more realistic concerns are already here in what's called narrow AI. We're rapidly racing into a world where all of our lives are utterly dependent upon artificially intelligent programs whose existence we don't even know of. From robot vacuum cleaners to self-driving cars, just about all of our technology is now learning and making more decisions for us. The challenge is making sure they don't step outside the envelope of their authority and create chaos. And then suddenly you can't open the door on your refrigerator or your car won't start. Well, realistically, we're already the slaves of computers. I mean, you spend all your time upgrading your machine, fixing it when it's broken. So the near future of artificial intelligence isn't so apocalyptic. It might just be annoying as learning technology becomes more intimately woven into our lives. Correction, I know you like a big brother. Do you indeed? On the other hand, how many of you would trade your modern smartphone for one that's not so intelligent. I mean, generally, the problem with the world is lack of intelligence. It's not a surplus <laughs> of intelligence. Oh, Very good. Okay. Got to use that sound bite, right? <laughs> well, again, to be clear before anyone gets too concerned, this is not the first time that two artificial in intelligence entities have sort of broken into their own conversation, but Facebook does it, and we all certainly mm. pay attention. Right. right. And yeah. people want the convenience that yeah. a lot of this provides. I, I was right. just telling Alan uh, earlier today or this week, I saw an ad where there's a device you can put in your kitchen, and it will watch you take food out of cabinets, and then it can decide that, okay, the cereal's running low, I'm going to send an order off to the grocery store to get more cereal delivered to the house. Now, if that's the kind of thing that appeals to you and it sounds uh -huh. convenient, mm -hmm. there's how, a price to pay. How for that. comfortable yeah. are right. you with right. living with these devices? Because we have an appetite for this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But and there's a price there, to pay. And there's, there's a the privacy price. concern, yeah. obviously. Right. Thanks, Wilson. Good yeah. story, bro. The robots yeah. are the robots are taking over.